Greetings, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Media Bites. This is Ron Placone, your host. Glenn Beck said recently that he regrets some of the things he said on Fox News, and he apologizes for some of his actions. Now, Megan McCain was among the people not convinced of Glenn Beck's apology and kind of had a scathing response to it. Of course, Glenn Beck was very critical of her body when she did an ad for skin cancer, so there's a bit of a history between the two. You know who else shouldn't be convinced by Glenn Beck's apology? Everybody else. First of all, Glenn Beck, if you're going to apologize, why just apologize for your actions on Fox News? Think about what you've done on your own network, The Blaze. Remember when you did that satirical sketch implying that the only problem with rape culture was the way we define rape? You know what you didn't see in that sketch? An actual woman. The woman's role was played by a dude in drag. Now, Glenn Beck employs a lot of people. I'm sure some of them are women. In fact, he may have binders full, for all I know. But when you're having a sketch and you can't even find a female to play a female role, it might be because your point of view is a bit gender biased. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But the main reason the general public should not be convinced is because this is not the first time. Glenn Beck apologized recently. He also apologized back in January and before that in 2013. Did you ever hear about that one about the partisan political pundit that cried wolf? Glenn Beck, I think one day you're going to wake up and you're actually going to realize what you've done. You're going to realize, hey, I have my own media outlet. I have an opportunity to change the media structure by proving that journalism can have a point of view and still be sound and valid. Instead, I'm spreading misinformation, sensationalism, hyperbole, and borderline hate speech. By the way, I'm basing that borderline hate speech part on the fact that I did a report on your book Arguing with Idiots for a class in graduate school once. My conclusion? Your book was a textbook example of pure, unfiltered propaganda. I got a 95 on that paper, Glenn. So Glenn Beck, one day you may truly be sorry, but I don't think that day's today. And whenever that day comes, like now, it's going to be too little, too late. You've been watching Media Bites. This is Ron Placone, signing out.